Hello there guys, me again on Stable Voltage, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization V. We are playing as Greece and trying to get a diplomatic victory. Well, let's be honest, it's not really diplomatic, it's whoever has the most money wins. Who knows, maybe that's how international diplomacy works. Of course, there's the other option of winning a diplomatic victory, which is to just build a massive army and roll over all of the city-states and essentially take everybody over, which tends to allow you to win most of the game modes in Civilization V. You can just go and take what you want instead of building for it. Now, the biggest problem that I can see as far as this game goes is actually going to be luxury resources because we are quite short of them. We've got a lot of salt around, but we already have salt. If we use some of that, we can actually sort of sell it to our neighbours and exchange it for something slightly more useful. We do have marble here. I don't think we've got marble anywhere else. Got to be careful with America. America's going to expand very, very quickly. We are going to have to keep our eye on them. There isn't really anywhere useful or exciting that I could go to pick anything up. That marble will be close enough. We could potentially get that. Is it worth settling anywhere else? Here could be useful. We could potentially settle here. We've got a good supply of food. We've got wine. We, we've got uh, jungle tiles. This could be a very, very good science city, actually. Right there on that hill. One, two, three. That would give us uh, wine. It would give us bananas. It would give us wheat. It would give us a mountain for the observatory. Um, one, two, three. It'd be slightly out of range of the incense there, which would be a bit of a pain. If we had it there, one, two, three, we'd be close to bananas. We'd be three tiles from the incense. That could actually be a very, very good city right there. That is something I will definitely consider. But let's move on with the next turn anyway. We've got a hoplite about to complete in Athens. Uh, you are having some problems with the Songhai, which we already knew about, but we don't want to get involved with that. We want to avoid fighting as much as possible. Doesn't mean to say that we won't be uh, paying the AI off to fight amongst itself. Okay, so first of all, we have ourselves a hoplite, which is very, very useful. Also, I have my great engineer here. Now, I kept him there for a reason. Why did I keep him there? It's been a few days since I played, so I'm kind of forgetting what I was doing. Machu Picchu, that's right. We were going to build Machu Picchu. So, should I build anything else here? I think what I'll do is I'll get a settler out, because I think settling down here could actually be very, very useful for us. Ah, that's annoying. Yes, Persia has just expanded and taken that wine, which is not what I wanted to see happen. So then that le leaves me thinking, is there a better spot? I mean, I guess I could build two cities. I could build one over here and use the oasis for food, because it's very this, this would be very good. You've got horses, you've got incense, you've got a lot of food. You've got desert tiles, which aren't that useful, but we could get Petra if we build a city there. Uh, it does mean, of course, it's not going to give us a lot of extra happiness, because we'd only get one reason. In fact, actually, if we're there, one, two, three. We could get the wine. It would be nice to have another city down here, in order to be able to work all these jungles... I think that's what I'm going to aim for. That hex there. We'll have a lot of food. We'll be close to if, or if. We'll have the incense. That's what I'm going for. Okay. We'll stick with that. Let's keep our scout looking around. See what we can find. Our hoplites. What are we going to do with you? We're going to bring you out over the river. And we'll probably use you to defend our settler as it makes its way over there. We are producing the Colossus. We've got three turns remaining on that. Which will give us another trade route. Oh, why did I have to go and say that? We've lost the Colossus to Spain. That is very, very annoying. Almost makes me wish that I'd have just gone and rushed it with my great engineer. That is really, really disappointing, that is. But oh well, it does happen. It's one of those things. It's not the end of the world. Certainly what we do want to do, though, is get ourselves as much money as possible. So we are going to put our market down in Sparta. And we have discovered another natural wonder, which is always good. I knew Spain would annoy me in this game. They always do. 
Uh, you guys can just sit fast for a moment. Don't really need you to do anything. I honestly thought I was going to get that, uh, the Colossus, though. I didn't think that was a wonder that I was going to miss out on. But I'm determined not to miss out on Machu Picchu, which is why that great engineer is sitting there and waiting. Got a barbarian that's a little bit close. We can ping at it with our archers, so why not? There's probably a camp around somewhere. There may even be some land off to the north. Even though this is a Pangea map, there will be little bits of land around, little islands that Barbarian Camp could have spawned on. Let's keep having a look with you. Get as much of the map uncovered as possible. This is a very important thing if you're playing a diplomatic victory. You really need to explore because the more city-states you find and the more quickly you find them, the uh, easier it's going to be to be able to befriend them all. We're at the top of the scoreboard, which is nice, and we've ran into a lot of barbarians, which is not nice. So let's go away here, and hopefully Carthage will deal with those. Oh yeah, you get another movement, of course. We're moving through hills, so yay, lots and lots of free movement. Okay, what have we got? You guys are going to... Let's move you on the hill. Maybe a slightly better viewpoint from there. On to the next turn, because not a lot else we can do. We'll have our settler very, very soon. Losing grasp on if or if. Not very good. Settler. Okay, you move over there. That's used all your movement, so don't do anything. Now, we're still eight turns away from completing guilds, which will give us time to get a watermill and a market. I think the market's probably more important at the moment because we need the gold. Watermill will just make us grow more quickly, which we don't really need because we still have our happiness problem. You guys will continue. Carthage is being blockaded. I wonder if, if they have a barbarian problem. We have met Sydney. We're not the first people to meet Sydney, but we've met them nonetheless. Now let's just have a quick look and see if anybody has anything we can trade for to get us to get some luxury resources. I think we currently have first spices and salt. Yes. Now we've got to look for ones that have more than one. We need somebody who has something spare. And at this stage in the game, people don't have a lot of things that are spare, which is the big problem. Yeah, nobody really has any spares. And you'll never give up your last uh, your last resource. So we'll have to wait a little bit on that one, but we certainly need to do something to improve our happiness as soon as possible. Archers can't see anything. Just having a quick scout around to have a look where that uh, where that barbarian went. Ah, apparently we connected some horses up and they become our ally for that, which is nice. And incense connected for Genoa as well. Where's Genoa? Ah, right down there. Now I've just noticed Kathmandu is taking a hammer in from somebody. So... Let us try and get some units down there and see what's going on with Kathmandu. Our hoplites are going to escort our settlers. Right, who are you at war with? Support with their e effort by gifting them units. I don't know who you are at war with. I don't have enough money to flip them over onto my side either. This could be problematic. Of course, if it does get captured by somebody, we can liberate it. So it's not the end of the world if that does happen. So let's keep that in mind. I don't really think there's any point going in there because we're not going to be able to cut through and we're going to be blocked by mountains. So let's start heading back out in this direction. We've got those annoying barbarians again. Probably can't really get close enough to Kathmandu to see what is happening. You guys have connected up the horses, which is very nice. Now, what I am considering doing now, actually, is building a road and connecting Sparta up to Corinth because it's going to be a little bit of a time before we get harbours going, so that's probably the most sensible solution. You guys have definitely had some sort of barbarian problem. You should have enough units there to deal with them, though, so I think I'm going to move my archers back over in this direction and try and help out Kathmandu if that is at all possible. Although, as I don't know who's attacking them, that does make things a little bit tricky. 
Washington's completed the Hanging Gardens. Not a major problem because I wasn't really going for that. Okay. Can we... Right, okay. Let's get all this stuff done. First of all, archers. Yes, get moving over in this direction. Swordsman, you're going to work your way down here as well. Kathmandu has actually almost fallen. This is actually very bad. Right, could we take you out? No, but what we can do is we can stand on the hill and we can heal up. We have our silk connected. Oh, that's actually very good for us because we've now got um, silk and incense, which has really helped with the, uh, the happiness issue there. So what should we connect you up with next? Well, what would make the most sense is to actually connect the roads up and get that done first so you can help. You guys are going to continue over here. Oh, look, a barbarian camp. What a surprise. Shouldn't be too tricky to deal with. Ah, we might be able to finish that unit off. Be very useful for us. Right, it's actually Carthage. Which I thought it was. Now, to be honest, I don't really want to have to go to war with anybody. But Carthage does have a habit of taking over city-states. We shall have to deal with them. But one step at a time. So I'm going to leave my settler there. They should be okay. I'm going to go in with my hoplites to hopefully take out this barbarian camp. You are going to construct your road over to these horses. There's probably little point in me sending these um, swordsmen down here to deal with Kathmandu. Kathmandu has already fallen. So there's nothing we can do unless we're willing to take on... Carthage. Now, obviously, Carthage are going to be getting themselves a warmonger penalty. So, we'll leave them be for the time being. But it means that if we actually go to war with Carthage and just take Kathmandu, we can liberate it and they'll be... Uh, not necessarily be our allies forever, although we'll get a massive amount of influence with them. But they will always vote for us, which is what we need. We don't really need them to be allies, we just need them to vote for us. That's the main thing. Settlers are just going to stay up on the hill for better vision. Unit needs orders. Archers. Again, there's no real use for you over there now, so you may as well come back over here and help deal with these barbarians. And you guys are going to build a road there, and you should all kind of meet up in the middle. I thought I was... Oh, it's because I healed until the end of turn. What an idiot. I thought I'd already made my move, but I hadn't. Oh, well, at least it's left one of Carthage's units almost dead. Anything that thins their army out is going to be really good. And we have a great profit. Okay, first things first. What we are going to do. We are going to use our hoplites to try and wipe out these uh, guys up here. Except we've used up all of our movement now, but we should be fine. What needs constructing? Athens. We've still got a few turns left before we can do anything else. We've got, we have got the happiness, so let's go for the water mill. You guys are just going to skip a turn. Great profit. We are going to enhance our religion. Now, what can we have? A second follower belief. Shrines will provide one happiness in cities with three followers. That could be useful because we are going to have a bit of an issue with um, luxury resources, I think. Is there anything else that's probably a little bit more useful? We could get monasteries, of course. We get additional culture from wine and incense. and We are going to have a lot of wine and incense. I think getting monasteries is an excellent one to actually get for us because there's a lot of wine and incense down there. The enhancer belief really is more for fighting. Um, combat strength near friendly cities that follow this religion could be useful. Combat strength near enemy cities that follow this religion. Religion spreads to friendly city-states at double rate. I think that's going to be the best one for us. So let's enhance our religion. That's that done. And before we go on to the next turn, let's just have a quick look down here at this unit. How far can you get? 
Right, can't really chase you down on this turn, but we'll see what we can do. Although Carth Carthage is probably just going to fire at them with their arrows. Although they've moved into a forest, so they don't have any movement left. That's fine. This is delaying getting that city settled, but that's probably not a bad thing, given that we won't actually win this fight. That's annoying. Uh, it is going to delay getting our city settled, but that's probably not a bad thing because of the happiness issue. Yeah, we didn't quite win that fight, which is a shame. You are going to... In fact, you can actually come over here because I think you should, should be safe. Uh, you guys are going to kick the absolute snot out of these archers. Once again, it's a shame you won't be able to finish them off. If it wasn't for the fact that they were on the hill and had the defensive bonus... Oh, no, we have finished them off. Okay, good. I think we will have to have... Right. America wants to go to war with Dido. Now, I'm actually tempted to do that. I really am. Just to take that city-state back. And it'd be nice to keep America on side. I'm going to say yes to this, but give us 10 turns to prepare. We are going to need to get some military units out. I don't think Carthage is going to be too big of a problem. Not with America helping us, so we should be okay. So let's move our settlers over here. I know the AI is suggesting we drop one down on this side, which could be useful. I mean, it would be nice to get the cotton. But if we have the incense and the wine, it's a shame we can't get that wine. Although we could go and steal that later on with a citadel. Which would be a little bit naughty, but I've done it before. Um, and we will have desert tiles, which will be very useful for us if we want to get something like Petra. Um, how f Whereabouts would we be for getting Petra? What is Petra under? I can't remember. Uh, where are we? If you can spot it, shout it at the screen. I might hear you. Um... Okay, well, as I'm going to spend forever looking for it, let's just use this thing. Uh, prerequisite text, currency. Um, so it gives us one food and one production for all desert tiles worked by the city at set floodplains. Gain additional trade route slot and a caravan appears in the city. Uh, plus six culture once archaeology is discovered must be built on or next to a desert. So we need currency and we're currently working on guilds. Uh, we already have currency. So, has Petra already been built? Let's just have a quick look at the global politics. Great Library, Colossus, Hanging Gardens. Yeah, nobody has Petra. Okay, that's good. That is good for us. Choose production. Sparta, what are we going to build here? Well, as nice as some of these things would be... We don't really have any mounted units yet. Let's get another hoplite going. We need to be able to fight in this war. My target is Kathmandu. I do not give a monkeys about anything else that's going on down here. I just want to take Kathmandu back, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that barbarian out. I know I probably shouldn't, because I should have just left it to uh, annoy Carthage, but we got some XP for that anyway. Um, you guys are going to... Move in position to try and help clear this camp. You've built your part of the road. You may as well... Go here and just build that road, actually. And then we'll, we'll get those horses. No point connecting the horses up yet, because they're not actually within our domain. You guys are going to do as much damage to these as possible. And let's move on to the next turn. So, we will be going to war with somebody. But remember, we're not going to. You don't really get a warmonger penalty for going to war. Yes, it's going to damage our relationship with Carthage, but you only really get warmonger penalties for actually taking cities. And while we're going to be taking Kathmandu, we will actually get uh, we lose the warmonger penalty because what we're going to be doing is take is um, liberating the city instantly. So we're going to pop our settler before we actually have um, any issues there. We've instantly got ourselves another city. A lot of barbarians have just suddenly appeared, which does not uh, fill me with uh, confidence. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, fire upon these spearmen. And we are going to use these guys to clear the camp. Should have given them a promotion, actually. They had a promotion there and I failed to use it before I attacked. My own stupid fault. 
Can't do it now, but at least we've cleared that. And that helps out our relationships with uh, Kuala Lumpur as well, even though we were already allies with them, so that's not too bad. Can't give these guys the promotion just yet, which is a bit of a pain. Going to have to get a worker over here, of course. We do need to get these things connected up as soon as possible. Athens... Right, what could we build at Athens? We've only got one turn before Guilds is finished. So, there's no... Oh, let's sort Argos out first, actually. Should we build the Petra here and insta-rush that, is the question. Or do... Right, no. No, Machu Picchu is more important. So, what we're going to do, we're going to build a monument here. We are going to build something here for one turn. And then we will switch to something else. So, let's put... Um, Let's put a turn into a catapult. You guys get a promotion. We are going to give you survivalism. And we're going to get you to safety. Oh, you get extra movement because you're moving through hills. Okay. Right, you want to go to war with Darius. You go ahead and do that because then you're going to get a real surprise in eight turns when me and America come knocking on your door. So basically, we have uh, England, well I'm not playing as England, but I am English, England and America teaming up to uh, take over Eastern lands, that uh, seems slightly familiar. Okay, well at least they're not attacking me, that is good. I think uh, Ifa's still having some problems with barbarians, we're going to go up and help with that very, very shortly. We lost horses from Ife, and we're in the... A new era. Okay, you guys get up to here and do nothing. Hoplites have been promoted, so we are just going to give you... I don't know what to do for the best. This this map has a lot of open and a lot of rough terrain, but I think there's more rough than open, so we're going to give you drill. You guys aren't going anywhere, and you're certainly not heading towards my caravan, so uh, no. These hoplites really need to heal, but I'm going to get them over here so we can try and help Ife out because they are definitely having some problems there. We've finished guilds, so before we completely forget what we're doing, let's go into Athens and let's change production to Machu Picchu. And we are going to take our engineer, move them into the city, and we are going to hurry production. That puts Machu Picchu down to one turn. Thank you very much. We are then going to go for... Construction could be useful, actually, because then we could get lumber mills, which would be very, very good for us. Also allows us to build quarries. Is there anything else that's more useful? Lighthouse could be useful, actually. Yeah, we're going to go into... Well, actually, we'll go... Um, yeah, we'll go optics into construction, I think. And start backfilling up some of these texts. So let's go on to the next turn. Yeah, I for having a little bit of problems with horsemen. We really need to get in there and try and help them out if we can. Better still, just find where that barbarian camp is and get it wiped out. It's probably up here somewhere. And we have Machu Picchu. So now we have an extra 25% gold from City Connections. Brilliant. Archers have been promoted. We gave you accuracy once. Let's give you accuracy again. We're going to start marching you over in this direction so you can be helpful. It's a shame these hoplites have actually taken some damage. There's not an awful lot I can do about that at this point. Machu Picchu has now been finished. So let's go back to building that catapult because it's only one turn away now. You guys, I think, can just heal up for now. Right, the road is now completed. You guys might as well get those horses connected up. Route 2 cancelled, of course, because they've already done the road. So you guys, I think, let's get you over to Argos so we can get that incense uh, connected up. Dido has entered the medieval era. She's slipping down on the player list. We've still got this unmet player, of course. We, we have no idea who that is. And these horsemen are doing very well because they're just constantly pillaging everything. So they'll probably pillage that farm. Well, they, they've moved over the river, which is good. But we're going to do our best to try and take them out. I'm going to get these hoplites to heal for a turn or two. Otherwise, they'll just get ripped to pieces. Corinth has finished its library, finally. 
what should we go for here? Let's get a monument go going. Of course, what we don't want to end up have, uh, doing is losing on a cultural victory because the AI just pumps out a lot of tourism. What shall we have going at Athens? Well, we know we are going to war. We could go for our companion cavalry. Uh, we do have a couple of horses, so let us do that. It is weak to spearmen. But it's, uh, it, it is a fast cavalry unit for the Greeks. So we should definitely do that. Okay. We have ourselves a free caravan. First question to ask is. Do any of the city-states have a quest for a trade route? No. None of the ones that we have found. Uh, Leventa still wants Voltology. So we should certainly consider doing that at some point. In fact. What we want to do is um, save for a missionary possibly we'll see how that works out but we have no quests for a trade route so where will we get the most money again we go into our trade route overview we look at trade routes that are available and we want whichever one gives us the highest gold and that is Athens to uh, Samarkand or we could lose half a gold and actually gain two science and put religious pressure on Washington. So I think Athens to Washington is the better route, which is probably the route that it was doing before. Now, it was actually going to Eif. We can't go from Athens to Washington. Why not? Is that the route that we already have running? This is the only problem with this trade route overview. Your trade routes. Yes, we already have one going from Athens to uh, Athens to Washington. So we could go Athens to Kathmandu, which is completely pointless because it will get destroyed once we go to war. Uh, we could continue going to Eif, which would be good. We could actually go Athens to um, uh, Pasagade, which... Wouldn't be a huge amount of gold, but it would give us some science, which is probably worth doing. Or we could go to um, Persiopolis, which would be even less gold, but it would give us three science and put religious pressure on them. So I know I said I wasn't going to do the religious gain, but um, I think that's actually a little bit of a sneaky one to do. So we'll try it. We'll do it for a couple of turns, see what happens. Uh, this catapult is now ready. So we're going to start moving you over here. We've got to start moving units down, of course, because we are going to be going to war. Let's go on to our next turn. Workers still working their way over towards Argos. Looks like I might actually deal with these horsemen. I'm still going to go over there, of course, because I want to actually uh, try and find the camp and clear it. Which will certainly help matters for us. There's definitely something over there causing them a problem. We now have optics, which is good, because we can build a lighthouse. Uh, was the Great Lighthouse already gone? Can't remember. Uh, global politics. Colossus, Great Library, Hanging Gardens. Great Lighthouse is still available. We don't technically need it, but you know, if we do get the opportunity to get it, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Choose production. Sparta has finished its hoplite. Uh, we're going to get a lighthouse going. Ooh, should we get the lighthouse? We do have the fish. That would be useful. We've got the happiness. Let's go for the lighthouse. Uh, we have our hoplites. You are going to be down here. Mainly because we're Kathmandu. That's what we want to take. On to the next turn. Unit needs orders, of course. Let's keep moving into position. Athens will grow in another turn, which is very good for us. Now, one thing I haven't been doing, which I really should, is micromanaging my uh, tiles and who's working them. Uh, Argos has grown, which is really good. Let's have a quick look at uh, Athens and see what we are doing. We could actually put a specialist in the market, which would give us uh, an extra two gold, and it would give us three points per turn towards a great merchant, which is something I really should consider doing. Um, what are we working here? We've got a lot of food going. So if we go for production focus at the moment and then put somebody in the market. Let's slow down the growth just a little bit because we are dropping a bit in ha happiness. And that's probably the best way to do things. Although, I think I don't want to slow down too much. So I'm going to take someone out there and put them in there. That'll give us an extra food and we'll lose a construction and gain a gold. That's probably the better way to do that. 
Unit needs orders. You guys are going to go in search of whatever is attacking. You guys are going to do the same once you've healed up. Argos, okay. What are you guys doing? You're getting the food, and you're getting the food and production. That's probably the best thing you could be getting, actually. Might be worth trying to get Petra there, but I don't think we're going to rush it with a great engineer. We'll just see what happens. Let's get you somewhere nice and safe. Now, Kathmandu is hidden behind a lake, which is a little bit of a pain. And we'll have to wrap this video up shortly, because it is getting quite lengthy. Okay, the Parthenon has been built in a land far away, which we weren't trying to get. Uh, Washington has completed the Terracotta Army, which we weren't trying to get. Now, it does double his military force. How happy are those? Now, as our neighbour, of course, we don't really want him to have a double military force, but we are going towards uh, to war with Carthage, so that could be very, very useful for us. Morocco has now uh, founded Islam, but we're still ahead. So we are not doing too badly at all. Okay, you guys get over the river. Where is this barbarian camp? It's got to be here somewhere. Unit needs orders. Can't do an awful lot, really, with these units. Need to start getting the catapult in range. We are going to need another catapult, of course. We'll get that uh, on the, the next build queue from Athens. I need to try and block America, though, because I don't want America to take Kathmandu. That would be bad. So, I'm going to try and make as much of a nuisance as myself with units as possible. And if it looks like America are going to take Kathmandu, I need to run in at the last minute and nab it from them. Reformation belief added to Morocco. Losing grasp on Cape Town. Okay, automatic faith purchase. We have a missionary. We also have our cavalry. Cavalry is going to move down here. And Athens is going to build... Is it worth getting any of these before we do anything else? Don't really want the two free workers. So I'm not too bothered about the pyramids. Also surprised it hasn't been built yet. It would give us a great engineer point, which is nice. But I don't think we need the extra two workers, not at this point. The mausoleum, great people. That could be good if we could get it. But we know we're going to be war, going to war soon, so we're going to get the catapult first. Who was it that wanted our religion? Leventa. Where is Leventa? You're not exactly close, Leventa, but we're going to try and get there anyway. So, missionaries, off you go. As they cut right through Carthage and get killed. Hmm. Still can't see where those barbarians are. We shall continue to look. Just watching America's scouts. You guys can stay there. You're going to be out of the range of the city. That is fine. You guys are going to come around. Mainly so we can just keep our eye on what is going on. Now, you've got to be careful with catapults. Because the problem you have with catapults is... It takes one turn to move into range. And then one turn to set up. So you can't fire at a city on the, on the same turn you go to war. Unless you can get two tiles away from the city and be outside of their borders. Like here, being on the hill for example. The problem is, when America declares war on them, then they'll have their turn and they'll probably instantly fire at the catapult. I think I'm going to get the catapult this side of the river though. And we'll do whatever we can with it. But that's pretty much everything that I can do on this turn. We have made some progress. In the next video we will be going to war with Carthage, only really to take Kathmandu back. That is all I am concerned about. Hopefully Kathmandu... Did Kathmandu, what am I on about? Yeah, Kathmandu. Hopefully Carthage and America will bash the snot out of each other and weaken each other significantly. And we'll liberate Kathmandu and then they will vote for us in World Congress, which is um, one city-state we can tick off the list. And then we'll get these workers over here, we'll get these things hooked up, which will help immensely. I might consider buying the tiles down here towards the wine, so we can get the wine connected. Because that would be very, very useful for us. Because we don't actually have wine at the moment. So I may well consider doing that. 
In fact, I'm actually going to do that now. There, we have it. No one else is going to get that wine from us. I may even at some point be really naughty and drop a citadel here and use it to try and steal this wine from uh, from Darius, which will upset him greatly, but we're going to do it anyway. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying the series, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.